One of the common issues with divers who are using a long hose setup is what to do with the excess hose, uh, the excess seven foot hose. So uh, here's, the, uh, here's the problem. If you have a seven foot hose and it's coming off of uh, behind you, you are normally going to have the long foot, seven foot long hose coming off the right side, uh, getting ready for your mouth. Uh, and the question is, is what to do with the excess hose uh, right here? So uh, what many divers typically do is they take this excess hose and they tuck it into their belt, uh, into their waist belt on their plate and wing. But what can happen is that uh, uh, that technique uh, may not uh, securely hold the, hold the hose and so uh, some people are searching for a more effective way of um, holding the hose and securing it in position. Over the years, these are five of the different techniques that I have used to secure the long hose uh, instead of using um, my belt to do it. Uh, the first one is a very simple uh, method, and uh, in this method what we do is we take a piece of quarter-inch bungee and tie an overhand knot uh, around uh, a right-hand D-ring. So this uh, technique uh, I first used as an emergency to solve this uh, long hose uh, securing problem, and uh, it, uh, it works very well. Uh, bungee is readily available and you already have a D-ring there so it is not uh, difficult to do. Uh, there is the slight amount of elasticity to the, uh, to the bungee so that this, uh, if this is adjusted properly it will do a very good job of retaining the, uh, retaining the long hose. So I used that technique for several years and then I decided that uh, I wanted to use something that looked a little bit more uh, technically oriented. Uh, and so I came up with uh, this idea. So what this is, uh, this is a flashlight or a baton holder, and uh, this uh, slips right over the uh, uh, waistband, and uh, you put the long hose down inside there, uh, doubled over, and it sticks out the end. Uh, and this works, uh, this works well, uh, but uh, one of the weaknesses is that it only comes in certain sizes, and uh, you may uh, not feel comfortable um, putting your hose through there with a large bend. So uh, this type of holder uh, actually consists of two pieces of webbing with Velcro. Uh, this part holds the hose so you can adjust it to whatever size you want. And then this size, uh, this side of the webbing uh, is uh, secured around your belt. Uh, and so this is uh, uh, similar to this except that it's uh, not quite as robust and uh, it is uh, adjustable. So uh, I tried, uh, tried using this. Uh, so then uh, I started thinking about uh, maybe I wanted something that um, was uh, uh, more readily available uh, and uh, maybe simpler. And so uh, I came up with the idea of taking a section of webbing and uh, putting it through a tri-glide like this uh, and then putting uh, the belt underneath uh, through the tri-glide through here. And so what this does is uh, since you have a double length of webbing through here, a double width of webbing through here, uh, it secures the size uh, very, um, very securely. So uh, the loop does not split, uh, does not slip on the um, on the belt, and the size of the loop uh, stays uh, uh, stays consistent. Uh, so uh, as long as you have the correct size uh, loop that makes you uh, that works for you, uh, this can be a very good uh, this can be a very good uh, technique. Uh, so. Um, uh, I kept thinking about uh, ways of doing this and uh, finally I came up with this idea which is the one that I currently use uh, and basically what this is it is a section a uh, one foot section of uh, two inch double sided velcro tape and so on one side of this uh, is the fuzzy side over here and then the other side uh, is the uh, the hook part here and so what you do is um, you stick this on uh, the belt in a similar manner as the webbing uh, and it does not move again because there's a double width. Uh, and then you have the ability to uh, adjust, uh, adjust the Velcro uh, to whatever size um, you want. So it's very easy to get, uh, it's very easy to get the correct uh, fit uh, without having to go to the extreme of um, uh, taking, uh, 
taking your uh, tri-glide and, um, and uh, messing with the belt. So this is a very easy way of adjusting it. So uh, currently I am um, I'm using this uh, technique. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is we're going to talk about um, how you mount this uh, on your uh, plate and wing uh, waist belt. So what I have here is a uh, complete set of assembled doubles uh, with the plate and the wing. And uh, this is the um, style harness uh, that I prefer to use, the setup. Uh, in this case, uh, what I have is I have uh, the right hand strap. Uh, and uh, what I typically do uh, with my gear configurations uh, is I offset the buckle uh, to the left side. And what that allows me to do is to mount a utility pouch uh, on the center right in front of me. So if we take a look at the right hand side here, uh, we have a D-ring uh, used to, uh, to hold, uh, uh, hold uh, decompression bottles and stage bottles and so on. And uh, here is the, um, the Velcro version of the long hose retainer uh, attached to the right side uh, with the, uh, the tri-glide. This is uh, just a regular, uh, this is a regular weight pouch. So when you install this, what you need to do is you need to make sure that the uh, hose retaining apparatus, whichever one you choose, is behind uh, your D-ring for uh, your uh, decompression bottles. Uh, and the reason for this is that you do not want to have your long hose uh, become entangled with any of the snaps, any of the deco bottles uh, that you're carrying. So what happens is the long hose goes down, uh, goes down, around uh, your waist and uh, comes down like this okay and then goes through the, the retaining uh, device like that uh, and then um, uh, this goes over your over your chest this is the one that uh, that goes around your neck uh, so um, uh, what this does is uh, it enables you to uh, properly secure uh, properly secure the hose uh, with whatever tension you want. Uh, so I've got it set fairly loosely here so uh, in the event that I would need to deploy this I would be able to pull this out of the uh, retaining strap and uh, deploy the uh, second stage regulator for an out of gas uh, out of gas situation. So of course with this you can adjust however uh, you want however tight you want it uh, but because of the flex inside the hose uh, there is a uh, very little tendency for the hose, even with the disc loose, uh, for the hose to come out. So this is um, one of the techniques uh, that you could use. And as I said, you could put any one of these uh, devices uh, right here behind the D-ring in order to capture the hose. So uh, whatever your preference is. Uh, the one downside of using the Velcro here is, like any Velcro, uh, this does have a, um, a limited lifetime. Uh, so uh, if you're concerned about stuff like that, uh, having to uh, not worry about it ever uh, and having it be easily replaced then uh, perhaps the webbing version of this uh, would be more uh, more uh, appropriate for you. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, hope uh, this helps anybody who uh, is dissatisfied with the uh, long hose retention uh, by putting it into their uh, waistband.